Welcome back to Average Mike. Today we're going to take our 2012 Dodge Durango and upgrade the Uconnect radio system here. Basically what was happening is I was researching as to why my rear backup camera uh, could be having issues. It, it kind of goes in and out. The camera is not bad because it does work sometimes. Almost seems like a wiring issue but I did come across a a post on a forum that basically said that they had to upgrade their Uconnect system in order to uh, resolve the issue and, and some people had come back and said that's what the dealer had done and it resolved the issue. I don't think it's going to work. I actually do think it's a, a wiring when I changed the bulb in the, in the rear hatch that maybe a wiring got loose or what have you but ultimately this is the easy way and it's something that I did want to do or I started researching and realized that when I bought the car it came with one version of software they had sent me a year or a year and a half later a, a CD to upgrade it again to a newer version and when I did some research it looked like there was one more version for my radio that uh, I, I can go to so I'm gonna go ahead and do that basically what I ended up doing was going to this website which I'll post in the description and taking a look at my radio here, what you need is this number right there. You'll see it says, I believe RNB, right underneath there. Yeah. So that is the model of radio that you have. And you need that in order to on the website see which versions you would need to download and then basically what you end up doing is creating a CD with the image on it that you will pop in here and I'll show you how to do that right now. Alright guys here we're at the website as you can see there are multiple Uconnect radios that you can Pick from with all their firmware available. I'm going to click on mine here. It is the RHB. Brings you to the download page. Just want to double check all your settings. I am using a Mac OS, so we're setting that correctly. And then we're going to click on download. Let it download to my machine. Once that is complete, I'm going to go to my downloads folder, right click, click on burn image. And this is all the false settings. It's pretty easy on a Mac. On a Windows machine, if you're using Windows 10, I do believe it's very similar. They have very similar options. I'm not 100% sure of that though. The If not, there is things called uh, ISO burners that you can download for free online and you should be good to go. It's dot ISO ISO. If you don't do ISO it's gonna you're gonna have issues with the uh, radio reading it. Now here you want to make sure that you look at the installation guide. I did find out on my radio that the RHB here uh, these are stepped, and if you can see that in yellow, it's basically telling you that these are stepped versions. If we were on the first version, we would have to upgrade to the second version and then upgrade to the third version. Uh, I was already on the second version, and you can look at that through the radio uh, and the settings there. All right, we're back here. So what we're going to end up doing, per the instructions, is opening this. Load, pop the CD in, and it close back up, and it should, after reading it, pop up with a screen or basically instructions on how to upgrade it. Let's see what happens here. I got data. There we go. Update baseline data files on hard disk drive. Yes. 
turn off ignition during update. Please wait. Okay, you sit here and wait. Looks like it has completed. Now we're reading. PMD did not update. Awesome. Alright, guys, so it looked like it said it did not update. But for some reason now, it's coming up and telling me the version, which I don't think it did that before. I'm going to go ahead and click yes again. And we'll give this another try. I don't remember showing the versions before. Oh, looks like it rebooted. This is different. Okay. Okay, it looks like that. Complete if I had to guess it's rebooting again. Or oh, I bricked it. One or the other. <laughs> nope, there it goes. Booting up. That is off, so let's run it back on. Okay. Oh, it's different. It's a lot different. Different colors. I wonder if that was... That's a setting. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think so. I think that's, this is different. Different colors. I, I, all, otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Let's look at the navigation. It's a different color scheme, it looks like. Please drive to highlighted route. Uh, okay, well, let's see. You know, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. So, yeah, if it does work, I'm not confident it fixed it, but we'll see. No, say it didn't fix it. I'm in reverse here and I don't have any, any screens here. So. I'm already done, so take this out. No, so no. Okay, well, that is it, guys. I just wanted to make this quick video just to show anyone who I, I honestly didn't think that I had the ability to upgrade the system. I mean, even though it's only one more version, I think it came out. 2013 it, it's still an update which you know it's not a bad thing especially for the navigation I'm assuming they updated some of the the maps and stuff it's getting pretty outdated so uh so yeah so hopefully somebody can use this to to do their own system if they wanted to and uh that I always thought you had to pay for it but apparently not so yeah hopefully you can help you out uh stay tuned for the next one later all right, guys, if you like what you saw, please go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that too. Uh, you can also turn on post notifications. That way we put out a new video. Right. It comes right up on your screen there. See you guys on the next video.